Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have some new goodies to play with from ColourPop. When I saw their new one and done collection, I just couldn't help myself. My obsession with pink is going strong. I picked up this palette. It's got some beautiful browns and pinks and pretty white in there. I also picked up one of their powder blushes in the collection. This is in the shade Burn Card. Ugh, look how beautiful. I did play with it earlier today. I'll post a picture. So I'm going to start with the complexion today because that's just what I feel like doing. Let me tell you what's already on my face. I did prime with my Fenty Matte Primer. I love it. I haven't used it on camera for a while. I put the Becca Under Eye Brightener under my eyes. It has become a daily, cannot live without product. I did my brows with the ColourPop Brow Wax and my, did I not bring it in here? I don't, okay, I did. Here it is my Sephora retractable brow pencil. Love it, you know I already bought a backup. Couldn't help myself for $12, that is drugstore pricing. And I primed my eyes with a little Jason Wu eye primer in light. For the complexion, I have not played with this in a while. This is a top favorite foundation for me. I believe I mentioned it in my year-end favorites for 2021, but it is this one from Bobbi Brown. It is their Skin Longwear Fluid Powder Foundation. I know her new brand, Jones Road, that has been a super popular viral foundation that has been going around. I am not interested in that foundation because it looks very dewy. This one is more for normal, I would say normal to oily skin. So very liquidy, which is what I prefer. This is one that I do like to apply with my fingers. I think what I love most about this foundation is the way that my skin looks when I wear it. It just looks so skin-like. It provides coverage, it has sunblock in it, SPF of 20, and my skin just looks really evened and gorgeous. It doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel dry. The only nitpick thing that I have about this foundation is that it is a light to medium coverage. So I often need a little bit of help. So what I have found that I'm loving to use with this foundation is my new concealer from LYS, the Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. I have this in the shade MN3. I still have not ordered a proper under eye shade for this, but I am enjoying it for spot concealing my face because it is so thin and yet provides great coverage. So just a couple spots on my face that need a little bit of help. And I'm just going to tap this in with my fingers because I can't find my concealer brush. <laughs> but that's okay. These are your natural makeup applicators. Just tap it in. And now I have the medium to full coverage that I'm looking for. The skin is evened out. For concealer, my number one concealer right now is this one right here from KBD. It is their Good Apple Concealer. I love it. I think the wand is very cool looking. I love the full coverage that it provides. I love the thinness of the formula. It does not crinkle or crease under my eyes. I did not bring a powder because I have worn this without setting it. I will take a look at my under eyes in a little bit and if I see too much luminosity then I'll throw a little bit of my Morphe pink setting powder underneath there which is what I've been enjoying. For contour, the Huda Beauty Tantour is new to my collection. I picked it up in the Sephora VIB sale, and this is in the light shade. I just put a dense brush. This is one from BH, and I just go in very light-handed with this. 
because it is pigmented but so smooth and easy to blend in. I do enjoy my ColourPop bronzer, cream bronzer, but I wanted to play with my Huda today. I have it, I enjoy it, and I wanted to give you an update that yes, I am still using this on the regular. Very nice. I'm gonna contour my nose with my little trick that Morgan Turner taught me on her channel. Take a little bit of cream contour on your finger, rub those fingers together, and then I believe she starts from the top. And just slide up and down the nose. And then takes a clean finger and goes up the center then you get more of a straight line. Of course, I will need to correct that with a little bit of concealer. I'm gonna use the KBD for that and just go straight down the center. Jenny's had a lot of coffee today. <laughs> shabby. For powder bronzer, I grabbed the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer. I have been very much enjoying this. It is cooler toned. It's got a little bit of a luminosity to it. It seems to be pretty error proof. I can just throw it on and it looks smooth. It doesn't look muddy. You go up the nose on the sides there, a little under the chin. And then if you go too far up, you can just take your foundation brush and just pat that, or if you have a damp beauty blender, that works too, just to soften those edges. And let's play with this blush because I just can't stay out of it anymore. This is the Burn Card blush from ColourPop. Now it does come with a little mirror. It is a great shade of pink. I did, like I said, play with it a little bit earlier and woo, it is pigmented. Look at the design on there though. Isn't that just adorable? I'm putting it on a fluffy brush, but you can see it is no joke tapping. And then I'm going to start a little bit higher. There were a couple shades of pink, but I am just so enjoying the popping pink blushes right now. I'm starting a little higher. And then I will softly bring that down. Maybe come a little bit under with that to give a nice sun-kissed look. She is blushed. Go around those edges again with the foundation brush just to soften. What do you think? I love it. Looks like you've just come in from the sun. I think it is beautiful. Now for the star of the show for me, this is the one and done palette. Love the pinks. Looks like you have a, let's swatch it. Here is Cowgirl Lasso. Here is Spur Thing. And up top here we have City Limits. That is the top row. Now for the center row, this one is High Horse, You Bet, These Boots. This one appears to be a duochrome. This one is called Coattails. I see some purples and some reds in there. That is Coattails. Now for the third row. This first one is High Roller, Ooh. Bingo. This one is The West. This is the darkest one, it's called gold digger. They look beautiful. So I think what I love most about this palette is that you could do a very neutral look with these browns and this copper. You've got this really pretty white shimmer that's going on here. It's kind of a champagne -y silver cowgirl. You've got a soft matte pink. You've got a bold bright pink. 
you've got two different shades of pink shimmer you've got this really cool duochrome going on here really neat options and I see multiple eye looks as a possibility for this palette. I think what I want to do today, I definitely want to play with this bright pink because I think it looks really nice with the Burn Card blush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a fluffier brush from Profusion and I am going to start with this City Limits shade just as a nice transition. And I'm going to easily just blend this into the eye. It's a very good color for a transition. It's just going to help all the other colors blend nicely into that. So when I go in with that brighter pink, it's going to blend easier. I'm going to take that same shade under the eyes. I'm going to take this Refer 13 brush and I'm going to go in with this pink. And I'm just going to start putting this in the deeper area of my crease. Just really pushing it into that crease area. This brush is fluffy but smaller. So it's still going to fluff out the color but with a little more precision, which I appreciate. I'm doing small circular motions and just pushing it in a little bit as I do that. I mean, look at that, that's beautiful. ColourPop has so many releases, there's no way we could pick them all up. And of course there are duplicate colors but it's fun when there are different themes that you're drawn to. But this palette is different than anything that I have in my collection, so it was a very easy I want that because I've been obsessed with all of my pink blushes. My little pink blush collection is growing. I'm going to do a video on that soon of my favorite pink blushes that I've been drawn to. But I really do not have a huge collection of pink shadows. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this spur thing with that same brush that I used in the transition. It's just a lighter matte pink. And I'm just going to dust that over the edges just to help further blend. And I'm being super light handed just to have a soft blend on these colors. I'm going to take my e.l.f. Precision. What is this? This is the e.l.f. Detailed Crease Brush. I am going to go into this brown right here, which is called Bingo. And I'm just going to deepen that outer corner a little bit. Pushing it in that outer corner and then sliding it up just a little bit, just to give a nice dimension to the eye. I'm going to take that same shade and go under the eyes with it. I don't know about you, but the shimmer on the lid is the most exciting and the most difficult part for me. We've got the duochrome, we've got the shimmering pink, we've got the lighter pink, we've got the champagne. So what I would suggest if you were a little bit intimidated by the pink, go in with the copper. Like that is really going to soften the look. If you're feeling bold, you could go in with the bright pink. If you want to be soft, you could go in with the shimmering pink. I think I want to try this duochrome. I want to try it. Hopefully it is not too dark because I definitely want that pop. Let's try. Ooh. That is pretty. It's got, looks like it's got greens and purples and pinks. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. The formula feels very nice. The shimmers are creamy, not too flaky. They're adhering to my eye. If we wanted to have a little more pop, I could go in with this lighter pink shimmer and just tap that a little bit in the inner area. Add a little more pink. 
that's pretty. So I'm just gonna go in with that deeper brown and just reinforce that deeper outer corner because we put that shimmer there. Slide that up. This one is from AOA. And I'm gonna go into that gold digger, gold digger. And I'm just gonna go right up against the outside edge of the eye with this. I'm looking at my under eyes. They look good, no creasing, but there is a little bit of a luminosity under there. So I am gonna take a little bit of my pink Morphe Bacon Set powder and just lightly dust that under the eye just to sort of smooth and mattify, but super light-handed. For liner, I grabbed my Essence Extreme Lasting Pencil. This one is new. I recently picked this one up. It is so inexpensive and one of my favorite drugstore black liners. And I'm just gonna line that edge. Take a small brush if you have it and even blur that out. I like to smoke it out a little bit these days. Just softens the look. It stays on so well, goes on so easy over glitter and shimmers and doesn't run all over my face. It is a good one. take a little bit of my elf no budge shadow stick and put that in my waterline and in my inner corner I have my rare beauty mascara for my lashes still loving this stuff love the wand long lasting it has not smudged under my eyes which i appreciate and is rare for a mascara for me haha uh -huh. it's rare that the rare beauty doesn't run go ahead and throw a couple coats on and i'll be right back i am back mascara is on for lip liner i grabbed my ColourPop. this is the bff lip liner This shade is not my favorite. I would prefer it to be a little bit deeper, but it will do because I have a new lip product to play with. The REM Beauty, if you're not familiar, Ariana Grande's brand, she has this practically permanent lip stain marker. Here it is. And since we're on the pink train, I grabbed the shade Full Out. I have not high hopes for this. I've never had a super good experience with a lip marker, but I wanted to try this because it just looked so beautiful in the promo pictures. I haven't even seen many people talk about this on YouTube. I've seen a lot of her other products, but not this one. So I thought we would try it. Here is the swatch of the color. It looks like a nice berry pink. Feels like I'm rubbing a magic marker on my lips. Yeah, patchy, dry, it's a no for me. Let's see if my Tarte Man Eater can save the day. Better, that is much better. I got this in a boxy charm. All right, the face looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and set it with my Patrick Star one size. I love this mattifying setting spray. The only negative is that it has a super strong scent, so hold your breath. But one thing that I do like about it is number one, it mattifies. Number two, it dries instantly. So I have like my little fan here that I love. I'll have to see if I can find the link for this because if you have a wimpy fan, this is so strong. 
really does a good job drying and I use it if I'm in a hurry with my mascara I use it for different things and it it charges but it is the strongest little hand fan I've ever had and I've had this in here for at least a month and I haven't charged it so it's a good one I'll make sure I link it for you below along with all the other products that I've used today I always link the products that I use in the description box so tell me what you think of the look I love it I love that the brown kind of softens the pink it's not so super out there this one and done palette gets two thumbs up from me I think it's gorgeous I love the whole theme <laughs> with the horseshoe it's good luck I love the colors the browns and the pinks I think you could do a really bold look I think you could do a really simple neutral look with this for less than $20 I think it's great the blush I think it looks fabulous I feel like I am healthy and glowing that sun-kissed look absolutely beautiful i am happy with everything that i use today except for this this lip stain that is a hard pass for me if you're not subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing before you leave i would love to have you join me i upload mondays wednesdays and saturdays if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up leave me a comment let me know what you thought are you into this pink thing that's going on right now or are you just enjoying pink blushes uh, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. I will see you in my next video. Have a fabulous day.